Did you ever meet that uh, bank robber guy? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, no, I have not met him. I have not met him. If one happened to be tuning in to the Pat McAfee show and overheard this, one would ponder, I think, what the heck are these guys talking about? Xavier Michael Babudar is also known as Chief Saholic. Simply putting two and two together, the man is a diehard Kansas City Chiefs fan. Chief Saholic, also known as Xavier Michael Babudar, is a career criminal who was disguising himself as a wolf who loved the Kansas City Chiefs more than Red Extreme, more than X Factor, was actually caught red-handed with a gun robbing a bank in Texas. It's crazy. And yet it's completely true. Another twist is Babudar would write on Twitter, I make a good living, plus I hustle in private. His arrest report would read, arm robbery, wearing a mask in the commission of the felony that took place, possessing a firearm and threatening violent acts during the robbery. Thus, here's what we know. On December 16th, a local Fox affiliate in Tulsa, Oklahoma reported a bank robbery took place in Bixby. A witness called police as the robbery was happening. When officers arrived, witnesses said the suspect had just left. Police would arrest the robber. It was later reported that the bank robber was indeed Babudar, a.k.a. Chief Saholic. Babudar, seen here, would be released per KRMG Radio. That came after the courts had reduced his bail. WHOTV would report. Babudar listed an Overland Park address, but also told the court he was homeless. He wore a court-ordered ankle monitor. Meanwhile, Peyton Garcia, a bank teller, says her life was changed forever because of Babudar. Court documents show Babadar asked the judge to allow him to leave the state for a family vacation to Arizona, the same place where the Super Bowl was taking place. Frank Frazier, Garcia's attorney, would say the following, he shouldn't even be allowed to go to a Super Bowl party, let alone the Super Bowl. And this man had the audacity to say, I have a family vacation in Phoenix the same day the Super Bowl is to be played. The motion said Babudar had a pre-planned family trip to AZ and that missing the trip would cause considerable financial hardship for him and his family. It also said Babudar would be wearing his court-ordered ankle monitor during the trip and that his bondsmen would accompany him to make sure he follows his bond and to make sure no court appearances are missed. Here is that bond document. You can see Babudar's name on it. His motion would be denied because the court needed 48 hours notice. The hearing would be held on the Monday following the Super Bowl. Babudar's bail was originally set at $200,000 after he was booked December 16th and charged with robbery with a firearm, assault while masked, or disguised possession of a firearm and commission of a felony and threatening a violent act. After the Super Bowl win, Babudar gloated on Twitter, which now his account does not even exist anymore. He had previously posted betting tickets showing he had wagered $5,000 on Patrick Mahomes to win NFL MVP and another $5,000 on the Chiefs to win the Super Bowl at 10 to 1. Given that he also would receive his principal back, this means in the last week he has come into $110,000 in cash. All this is a far cry from what he told his followers on Twitter, by the way, which he amassed over 50000 he would say, hard work pays off. After claiming to manage multiple warehouses in the Midwest, in custody last month, Babudar signed an affidavit upon penalty of perjury that provides a stark contrast to what he said publicly about his financial conditions. Persons in household, homeless. Cash on hand, zero dollars. Bank account, no. Other possession of value, no. Current employment, no. Last employment, warehouse, 2020. From jail, he declined a request for an interview unless he was paid. He claims he is in the process of selling his story rights, but for Garcia, she has one simple question for him and the masses. What about us as the victims, said Garcia? Why are we not considered when they're making these decisions to reduce his bond? And then him putting in the motion to leave the state, it just goes to show that he doesn't care about what he did. She would add, think about the victims a little bit more before saying something out there because it does affect us, whether they think it does 
or not.